morning guys, how's it going? Last night, we were just sitting at dinner eating and had a drink, we were like, nah, we need sleep. It was a long day. <laughs> we were up very early and we did a lot of stuff. So we were just wrecked, so we just came home, slept, and got a big sleep. I'm feeling very fresh. Got a good nine hours, I'd say. It's now like 20 to 8. So we're gonna go grab breakfast at a place called Tolulu's, I think it's called. So we'll walk down there, but today we are going to Lake Minnewanka, which we kind of drove near yesterday with that wee loop we did. We could have gone around to it, but we didn't want to see it yet. But at least we know where it is. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're probably, we just need to get changed and stuff, but we're going to go get breakfast then, go out to Lake Minnewanka, do all that stuff, and there's a boat cruise we're doing there. I think it lasts for like an hour, just takes you out in the lake. Looking forward to that, and then we get back, and um, we're going to fill up the car with petrol, drop it back off, complain about sad now, and hopefully get a refund because we haven't used it once because it doesn't work. Then we're gonna go get a taxi and take the gondola up the mountain and get a drink up there and take some pictures. Before we came, it was literally listed as thunderstorms for the entire week, but we've been quite lucky that we've only had rain one day and that was when we were out canoeing. It, it literally lasted for about half an hour, like sunny cloudy ever since, but today we've got the forecast is kind of rain for the whole day. Which isn't ideal, but you don't always get the best days. I think we've had the best days for what we've done so far. So yeah, we'll take you out with us on an adventure. Cause that's what we're doing. And these things, by the way, are actually the most useless things in the world. It doesn't work for me, I don't know why. Don't understand it. But yeah, see you in a bit. in the morning, we're at the evening of and it's just starting to rain, which isn't ideal. Um, I think it's literally set the rain all day, which isn't great, but it's quite light at the moment, so fingers crossed, kind of stays, I guess, but we're gonna go down and find out how to get in this boat, because let's go and investigate. Take a few photos in the meantime. It's a big lake, I'm looking at it right now, and it's pretty big. Have a wee look for yourself. Super zoomed in. Am I really close? Or? No. <laughs> we are on Lake Minnewanka. Shoot, go ahead. Can you look at me? Shut up. So we're gonna do the boat cruise for an hour. Um, it's raining, but there is a shelter, so it's yeah. Fine. Like, oh, it's starting up. Yeah. Here we go. Back in the bus, legends. Yeah. sitting outside the cafe. Chloe's got her wee bag of Doritos. So we went and did the lake tour and the wee tour guy was funny like but apparently there used to be a village, an actual Minnewanka was a village and basically Minnewanka has become like one of the most popular scuba diving destinations in the world or whatever. So basically what happens is like there's obviously boat tours during the summer but when it freezes over the water doesn't change temperature so it's perfect for the scuba divers. So what they do is they cut a wee hole in the ice and they just dive down and try and find where the town was but the town actually eroded away after like 100 years apparently but one thing that's intact is a toilet so there's a toilet down there that was from the late 1800s when the village flooded basically they built a dam and it worked well so they saw why not build a second dam so they built a second dam and it failed miserably and it flooded the whole city so it used to be like three feet deep in the lake and now it's 90 feet deep, but yeah, there's a toilet down there. Scuba divers go down there and sit on that and blow some bubbles and take pictures to show all their friends. So that's the story of Lake Minnewanka that I wanted to tell you. Let's go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the heater is on. It's pissing down outside. It started raining. And on my holidays, we just dropped the car off. That was stressful. First off, we had to fill up the pump, and I have no idea what way the gas station works here. Everyone just goes in wherever way they want. We didn't know what the hell we were doing. So it's not hard. Chloe figured out the car thing, paid for it, filled it up, out of there. Stressful up. Then we had to figure out where the car park was. So we went on a bit of a goose chase to find that. Found it, into the garage, parked the car, and then went up and like, look, we want a refund. And he was like, okay, cool. He's like, did you bring your form? I didn't know I was supposed to bring this. And then he was like, yeah, I don't have access to the screen here because you booked it through booking.com. I have to wait for the manager. So we stood there for 15 minutes. And then he was like, yeah, are you coming back anytime soon? Why the hell did you just ring me in the first place? Well, the car's sorted now. Just walk back in the rain. 
going to get a taxi to where the gondola picks us up. And we're going to take the gondola up the mountain and probably see absolutely nothing. <laughs> today is pretty, it's pretty rough. But to be honest, out of all the days that we've like done, I think today's the best day to have the rain. And we actually didn't get the rain this morning on the lake. We didn't get it, it was really sunny, it was nice. Then we got in the car, started pissing down, I was like, going to this is And it's continually still pissing down, so there's your update, guys. We will see you. We're shaking. We're in the gondola. Oh, we're looking for bears. Any, see any? We've got to keep our hopes up. It's a six-minute journey up, so we've got another half to go. But it's it's rocking. It's windy. It's wet. Great weather. We're about 200 feet above the ground. I can feel my ears popping, Jeepers. It's so shaky. Please don't talk about how shaky it is. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the top. We're higher than the clouds. It's so cool. It's actually so icy cool. Look at the view behind us. It's absolutely freezing. So we're either gonna go in and get lunch in this big tower. Or we're gonna go out to the other viewpoint. I'm excited yet. Wow. <laughs> Me and Chloe made it to the top of the peak. Wind's really cold. We're sheltered right now, but behind us, like someone's house, there's like a bunk bed in it. What do you think it was for? It's like a setup to show you if there was like a watch person, like who, who was in the watchtower. It's like set up to look like what it would have looked like in the olden days. Yeah. So if there was someone, say, in the 1800s who used to sit up here and say man it, they have it set up to look how it would. I can't remember what's that called. Some sort of stage. Yeah, like the stage it's stuff. It's been top of the world, are we? And we're lucky the rain stopped. I think we're, I think we are higher than the cloud that was providing rain, so yeah. we're sheltered now. Take a couple of minutes up here and then I think we'll head back down. <laughs> <laughs> you love doing that thing. <laughs> Heading back down the mountain, I've been in Canada long enough that I know how to attract bears. <laughs> Finished up. We're just gonna be staying in the time today and then leaving tomorrow morning. Call me the bear. Call me the bear. <laughs> Back. We get changed and we're gonna like, get your drinks and then we get dinner. So, uh, so yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, mini my guy. Yeah. <laughs>